Hello and welcome to another EDH gameplay video brought to you by MTG Mudster. Errata do have affinity for generic goblin noises. Hey gang, just to let you know, you can now use the promo code MTGMUDSTA, all caps, at flipsidegaming.com and originalmagicart.store. Using the code gets you 10% off orders $10 or more, and you get to help out the channel at the same time. Also, I want to bring to your attention the Kickstarter from Original Magic Art, where they're trying to get some sweet Commander slash EDH generals onto playmats. He's directly working with the artists, so you'll be able to help support them, and if you use the affiliate link below, you'll also be able to help support me and get your hands on some of these sweet playmats. Hey gang, and welcome back. This week we have a special game in the sense that I filmed it at a new store. This game was filmed at Face to Face in Montreal, and it was really cool. I am playing my Misform Ultimus, Keeping Sky Diamond, A Long Term Plans, Cryptic Command, Distant Melody, Biden of Thassa, An Island, and Scavenger Grounds. Sam, who's new to the channel, is playing his Alesha deck, Keeping Collective Effort, Mog War Marshal, Caves of Koilos, A Swamp, A Plains, Temple of Silence, and Temple of Malice. Antoine is playing his Atraxa deck, Keeping Manifold Insight, Island, Lanawar Reborn, Plains, Terramorphic Expanse, Opulent Palace, and Ugin the Spirit Dragon. Lastly, Kevin is playing his newly made Hepatra deck, keeping a Swamp, Two Forests, Vizier of the Menagerie, Putrefy, Abrupt Decay, and Beast Within. Talk about removal. Antoine wins the die roll and starts us off. Antoine plays a tapped Opulent Palace and passes. Kevin plays a Forest and passes. I play an Island, passing. Sam plays a Temple of Silence, scrying one and keeping it there. Antoine plays a tapped Lanawar Reborn and passes. Kevin plays a Swamp, and he casts Hepatra. I play a Scavenger Grounds, and I cast my Tap Sky Diamond. Sam plays a Temple of Malice, scrying one, and bottoming the card. Antoine plays a Plains, and pays three to cast a Manifold Insight. He reveals the top ten, and Kevin gives him Solidarity of Heroes, I give him Verdant Confluence, and Sam gives him Inspiring Call. Kevin plays a Forest, and swings Hepatra at Antoine for two Commander damage. He puts the minus one minus one counter on his commander, and gains a snake, and casts scavenging units in his main phase, and he passes turn. I draw for turn, but with no land, have to pass. Sam plays a plains, and we see a Mog War Marshal before he passes turn. Antoine plays an island, and he brings out Atraxa. He grafts a plus one plus one counter onto Atraxa from the Lanoir Reborn, and he moves to his end step. He uses the proliferate trigger to add another plus one plus one counter to Atraxa, and another minus one minus one counter to Hepatra. Hepatra dies, and Kevin puts her to the graveyard, and then pays 1 green to exile it with his ooze, giving the ooze a plus 1 plus 1 counter and gaining 1 life. Kevin draws and casts Putrefy and Atraxa in his main phase. He then moves to combat, and gets some revenge swinging the scoos at Antoine for 3. I still can't find a land for the life of me, so I cast a Stoneforge Masterwork, and then drop a Supreme Phantom. With nothing else, I pass to Sam. Sam untaps for his turn, and responding to his echo cost, he casts Alter's Reap and sacrifices the Mog War Marshal, drawing two and gaining another goblin token. He then draws for turn and plays a Swamp before passing. Antoine plays a Nash Barons as his land for turn, and he drops a Deep Glow Skate as a blocker, passing to Kevin. Kevin is also suffering from land drought, and he moves to combat. He swings the ooze at Antoine, who blocks with his skate, and before damage is done, Kevin exiles Sam's Mog War Marshal, gaining one life and giving the ooze another plus one plus one counter. This has the skate die and the ooze survive, and he passes turn. I draw my third land for turn, playing it and passing. Sam plays a smoldering marsh, which comes in untapped, and he casts Read the Bones. He keeps one on top and bottoms one, then loses two as he draws two cards. Moving to his end step, he discards Cave of Koilos, and he passes. Antoine draws and passes, and at the end of turn, Kevin exiles the skate with his ooze, gaining another one life and another plus one plus one counter. Kevin casts a Plague Mirror in his main phase, and moving to combat, swings his ooze at Antoine. Antoine is ready with his own Putrefy this time, and Kevin responds to the spell by exiling Manifold Insight, and the ooze then dies. With nothing else, Kevin passes. I play a Sliver Hive as my land for turn, that's right, Sliver Hive. I then cast a Sage of Fables, and I pass turn. Sam plays a Plains, and taps out to cast Elspeth, Sun's Champion. He upticks her to make some nice soldier tokens, and he moves to combat. He swings his two goblin tokens at Antoine for two, and passes. Antoine plays a Dark Water Catacombs as his land for turn, and he taps out again to cast a Traxa. Kevin draws for turn, and he casts a Patra again. He then moves to his end step, discarding Craterhoof Behemoth, and passing to me. I play an island for my turn, and I cast Misform Ultimus. He gains a plus one plus one counter as he enters thanks to the Sage of Fables, and I move to combat. 
I decide to swing my Supreme Phantom at Sam for one rather than his Elspeth, and with great shame, I pass my turn. Sam upticks Elspeth in his main phase, gaining three more soldier tokens. He then casts Collective Effort, tapping one of his goblins. He chooses to destroy Traxa, and then gives all of his creatures a plus one plus one counter. Sam then plays a Hanawar Battlement as a land for turn, and he casts Solemn Simulacrum to go and find a basic. Antoine draws for turn, and we see a Mana Gorger Hydra hit the field. Kevin draws and plays a Swamp for his turn. He taps out to cast an Incremental Blight, which gives Antoine's Hydra a plus one plus one counter. Kevin targets the Sage of Fables for the one, targets the Hydra for two, and the Misform for three. With the spell in the stack, Antoine casts Inspiring Call. This gives his Hydra another plus one plus one counter, and draws him a card. The minus one minus one counters then get put onto the creatures, and Kevin gains three Snake Tokens. I draw and play an Island for my turn, and I cast Biden of Thassa, and Antoine gives his Hydra another counter. Moving to combat, I swing the Supreme Phantom at Kevin for one, and draw a card with the Biden trigger. I then pass to Sam. Sam plays an archetype of finality in his first main phase, and suddenly Kevin's snakes aren't as good. Antoine's Hydra gains another counter, and moving to combat, Sam goes on the offensive, and hits me with all of his tokens for 16 damage. In his second main phase, he upticks Elspeth once more to make more soldier tokens, and passes. Antoine plays a Verdant Confluence in his main phase, giving his Hydra another counter, and going to find three basics. He then passes to Kevin. Kevin plays another Swamp, which he drew, and he makes a deal with me. He swings Hapatra at me, and I take the two. He then uses the Hapatra trigger to put a minus one minus one counter on the archetype, and gains another snake token. Kevin then casts an Ikor Rats in his second main phase, giving us all an infect counter. I play an island, and I gear up my phantom with the masterwork. Moving to combat, I swing the phantom at Elspeth and deal two. With nothing else, I pass. Sam plays a mountain as his land for turn, and not taking too kindly to me swinging at his Elspeth, he swings the same amount of tokens at me, and I take another 16. In his second main phase, Sam makes another three soldier tokens with Elspeth, and he passes turn. Antoine plays Doom Blast in his main phase, and the table, minus Sam, is pretty okay with it. Antoine picks his Hydra as the only creature to remain, and with the spell in the stack, Kevin uses Beast Within to blow up Elspeth. This also has the Hydra gaining two more plus one plus one counters, and Sam draws as his Solemn dies. Antoine then casts Solidarity of Heroes, giving his Hydra another plus one plus one counter, and then doubling the counters on it. He then swings it at Kevin, and deals 15 damage. Kevin draws and recasts Hepatra, then passes to me. At the end of his turn, I cast Long-Term Plans to find a card and put it third from the top. I draw for turn, and I play Cavern of Souls, naming Merfolk. I then cast Unesh, and I pass to Sam. Sam plays a Swamp for his turn, and he casts Merciless Eviction. He chooses to exile all creatures, which is kinda sad for my Unesh. And Sam then casts Anafenza, and suspends a Wheel of Fate. Antoine casts Ugin in his main phase, and he upticks Ugin to deal 3 to Anafenza. With nothing else, he passes to Kevin. Kevin draws, and casts Obnixilis Reignited. He upticks the walker, losing one life and drawing a card. It's a land, and Kevin plays an untapped if near deadlands. He then passes to me. I draw, and I play a Griffin Canyon, paying six to recast my Mist from Ultimus, and passing to Sam. Sam casts Swiftfoot Boots in his main phase, and then casts Alesha, remembering he was supposed to remove a suspend counter from the wheel. He then gears up Alesha with the boots, and swings Alesha at Ugin. This triggers Elesha's ability, and Sam pays 2 to bring back the archetype of Finality, who is also swinging at Ugin. Ugin then takes 5, and in his second main phase, Sam casts a key to the city. Antoine plays a command tower for his land for turn, and he casts Sublime Exhalation. I'm not keen on paying 8 for Misform, so I counter with the Cryptic Command, and also choosing to bounce Ugin. Antoine then plays 2 for an Orzhov Signet, and he then casts a Citadel Siege. He picks Khans, and passes to Kevin. Kevin draws, and up takes Obnixilis, again drawing a card and losing one life. He plays a forest, and drops Garuk Wildspeaker. He up takes Garuk, untapping two lands, and finishes his turn by casting a Blood Artist, and passing. I draw for turn, and I cast Curse of the Swine where X is 2, exiling the archetype of Finality, and Blood Artist. I then move to combat, swinging Misform at Sam, who opts to take the hit for 3. This lets me draw a card with the Biden trigger, and I then play an Island, and I pay 7 to cast Gilecaster Colossus, which makes Kevin groan. I help Sam out by town taking his wheel, and he draws for turn. He moves to combat, and swings a Lesha at Obnixilis, and Sam pays double black for her trigger, which returns Anafenza tapped and attacking. Before moving to blockers, Sam also taps his key to the city, making a Lesha unblockable as he discards the Knight of the White Orchid. Kevin then blocks Anafenza with his new piggy token, and Obnixilis takes 3. In Sam's second main phase, he casts Karmic Guide to bring back Anafenza, and passes. 
Antoine plays a forest, and he recasts the tracks in his main phase. He then moves to combat, putting two plus one plus one counters on her from the Citadel Siege, and in his second main phase, he casts Bread for the Hunt. At the end of turn, Antoine proliferates the plus one plus one counter on Atraxa, and also gives all of his opponents an extra poison counter. Kevin also uses the opportunity to abrupt decay Sam's boots. Kevin draws her turn and floats two mana. He then upticks Garuk to untap two lands, and he downticks Obnixilus to destroy my Galecaster Colossus. With the ability on the stack, I tap the Colossus to bounce Anafenza back to Sam's hand. Kevin then casts a Vizier of the Menagerie and plays a Forest. He finishes his turn by recasting Hepatra, and he passes. I draw for turn, and I cast a Thran Dynamo. I then pay to activate the Sliver Hive, making a colorless Sliver token. I then all but tap out to cast Distant Melody, naming Slivers and drawing two cards. Sam has his wheel down ticked by Kevin, and lets his Karmic Guide die to the Echo Cost. Sam then casts Knight's Whisper in his main phase, drawing two and losing two life. He then recasts Anafenza and moves to combat. He swings Alesha at me, and pays for Alesha's on attack trigger to bring back Karmic Guide. This has him bolster, and he puts a plus one plus one counter on Alesha. Sam then resolves the Karmic Guide trigger, bringing back Solemn, which bolsters Anafenza and lets him find a basic. I block Alesha with my Sliver, and take two from the Karmic Guide. In his second main phase, Sam plays a Windbrisk Heights tapped, and he hides away a card. Antoine plays an island for his turn, and he moves to combat. He adds another two counters onto Atraxa, and he swings Atraxa at Sam for nine commander damage. He also gains nine life and draws a card. Antoine then recasts Ugin in his second main phase, and he upticks Ugin to deal three to Alesha. Antoine then casts a Diabolic Tutor, grabbing and casting Soul Ring. At the end of turn, he proliferates on Atraxa and Ugin, and gives all of his opponents another poison counter. Kevin hurts himself again with Obnixilus, drawing a card and losing one life. He plays a Swamp as his land for turn, and he casts Llanowar Elves at the top of his library thanks to his Vizier. Kevin then down ticks Garuk to give his creatures overrun, and he moves to combat. He swings Hepatra at Sam for 5. Sam decides to block with his piggy token, and takes 3 commander damage. Kevin uses the Hepatra trigger to put a minus 1 minus 1 counter on Atraxa, and he gets a snake token. I play an island, and I cast Monastery Siege, naming Khans. I then cast Commit to bounce Atraxa to the second from the top of Antoine's library, which he lets happen since we'll be wheeling on Sam's turn anyway. Moving to combat, Misform then hits Ugin for 3, and I pass to Sam. Sam lets his Karmic Guide hit the bin on his upkeep, and we then resolve the Wheel of Fate, discarding our hands and drawing a fresh 7. Sam then plays a Guy Reach Sanitarium as his land for turn, and he recasts Alesha, which bolsters, and Sam gives her a plus 1 plus 1 counter. Sam then activates the Battlements to give Alesha haste, and he swings her at Ugin, aka Eugene. Sam then pays the 2 black or 2 white to bring something back with Alesha's trigger, and we see Karmic Guide come back once more. He bolsters and puts the counter onto the Solemn. The Karmic Guide then brings back Agent of Erebos to exile my graveyard and bolsters again onto the Agent this time. Ugin then takes 6, and in his second main phase, Sam moves to cast Azul Port Cutthroat, but I counter it with Mystic Confluence as he can't pay 3 more, and I draw 2 cards. Antoine draws and plays an Underground River as his land for turn. He then upticks Ugin to deal 3 to Alesha again, and he drops a Fathom Mage in his main phase. He then plays his own copy of Scavenging News and involves the Fathom Mage, drawing a card. He then recasts Traxa, losing one from his Underground River, and evolves the Fathom Mage once more, drawing a card. He then moves to his combat step, and he puts two plus one plus one counters onto Traxa. Antoine then moves to his second main phase, and casts a Felwar Stone, and moves to his end step. He has all of his opponents gain another poison counter, and he adds another relevant counter to his creatures and planeswalkers, drawing from the Fathom Mage. Kevin plays a Temple of the False God, and taps it to cast Soul Ring with one floating. He uses the one floating to cast a Skull Clamp, and loses one from Omnixilus to draw a card. Kevin then floats a black mana, and upticks Garuk to untap two lands. Kevin then moves to combat, and swings everything at Ugin. Antoine responds before moving to blockers, exiling one of Kevin's creatures in a graveyard to give the Ooze a plus one plus one counter, and gains him a life. He then blocks the Vizier and Hepatra, gaining seven life from Atrax's lifelink, and Ugin takes two. Kevin then moves to his second main phase, and he casts Black Sun Zenith, where X is seven to wipe the board. Kevin then casts Death Reap Ritual, and at the end of his turn, draws a card. I also use the end step to flash in a Scion of Una. I draw two on my draw step, and discard an island for the siege trigger. I play Nyxthos as my land for turn, activating it, making four blue mana. I then use three of it to cast Fabricate, and I go to find an Obsidian Battle Axe. I then cast the Battle Axe, and cast Misform, and move to attach the axe onto him. We're a bit conflicted at this point, because we aren't sure if the axe can auto-equip onto the misform, but because it doesn't target, we think it works? Anyway, let me know in the comments. 
I then swing Miss Form at Ugin, and the Cyan and Antoine for one. I then drop an Amoeboid Changeling in my second main phase, and I pass my turn. Sam plays a Swamp for his turn, and he casts a Reviarch in his main phase. He then casts Fiend Hunter, exiling his Reviarch, and brings back Karmic Guide and Anafenza, and, with the Guide trigger, his Cutthroat. He then gets to bolster twice and does so, and Sam then casts a Skull Clamp, and he passes to Antoine. Antoine plays an Elite Scale Guard in his main phase, and moves through his combat step, putting two plus one plus one counters onto the Scale Guard. We then see an Altered Ego, where X is two hit the field, and he has it come in as a copy of the Karmic Guide, which brings back his Scavenging Ooze. With nothing else, he passes to Kevin. Kevin upticks Obnixilis, losing a life and drawing a card, and playing a Swamp for his land for turn. He then pays 8 mana to cast a Woodfall Primus, and as it comes in, Kevin blows up the Windbrisk Heights. Kevin then upticks Karuk to untap 2 lands, and he skull clamps the Woodfall Primus. We then see Kevin casts a Cauldron of Souls, and he passes to me. I draw 2 and discard an Island, and drop an Adaptive Automaton, naming fairies as it comes in. I then cast a Stunt Devil, having it come in as a copy of the Scion. I then cast a Grand Architect, and my little board is suddenly not so little anymore. Moving to combat, I swing the Amiiboy, the Scion, and Misform at Antoine. Antoine blocks the Scion with his Altered Ego, which I'd forgotten had flying because it's a Karmic Guide, and my Amiiboy with his Ooze. He then exiles three of Sam's creatures, gaining three life and three counters for the Ooze, and three of Kevin's, gaining three more life and three more counters. As a result, I lose my two non-commander creatures, and Antoine takes eight from the Misform. I get to draw from the Biden trigger, and I then pass, and Kevin draws from his Death Reap Ritual at the end of my turn. Sam lets his Karmic Guide die, and we all lose one, and Sam gains one from the Cutthroat Trigger. Sam then activates his Sanitarium, and we all draw one and discard one. Sam then brings out a Cathars Crusade, and passes to Antoine. At the end of Sam's turn, Kevin draws from his Death Reap Ritual. Antoine pays five in his upkeep to keep his Alter Ego slash Karmic Guide around. He then casts a Contagion Engine, and gives all of my creatures a minus one minus one counter. Antoine then activates the engine, proliferating twice, which means all of his opponents gain two more poison counters, and all of my creatures end up getting three minus one minus one counters. While on the flip side, his creatures gain two more plus one plus one counters. This basically wipes my board, and moving to combat, Antoine swings everything at Sam, tapping down his board with the elite scale guard triggers, and taking him out. Antoine then casts an Orzhov Advocist in his second main phase, and he passes. At the end of turn, Kevin casts a Nature's Claim to blow up the Contagion engine, and give Antoine four life. Kevin casts his own copy of Zulpark Cutthroat in his main phase, and follows up with a Poison Tip Archer. I begin to wonder how long I am for this world, and Kevin then upticks Obnixilis, drawing a card and losing a life. We then see Seedborn Muse, followed by a Skin Renderer, and he puts three minus one minus one counters on the Elite Scale Guard. Moving to combat, Kevin hits Antoine for a seven with the Woodfall Primus. Kevin then moves to equip the Clamp onto the Cutthroat, which will have his opponents losing two life, one from the Cutthroat and one from the Archer, while Kevin gains one life and draws two cards. Before this, he taps the Cauldron of Souls to give the Zulapark Cutthroat persist, and with the Cutthroat dying, it comes back with a minus one minus one counter, dying again and dealing two more and giving Kevin one life. I die because of the second death of the Cutthroat, and Kevin then casts a Ramunak Excavator, moving the Clamp onto it and drawing from his Death Reap Ritual at the end of his turn. Antoine untaps her turn, and he casts a DC Undead Vizier. He exploits the Advocist, and goes to find a card. He settles on, and casts an Abzan Falconer, which is enough to help him close out the game. He swings everything at Kevin, who's the last person alive anyway, tapping the Poison Tip Archer, who's the only creature that can block, and takes him out. Game review time! So thank you to Sam and Antoine for coming out to join us, and thank you to face to face for letting me film in their shop. If you're wondering why this game was so long, even when it was condensed to 20 minutes, it's because it was over 2 hours. We were playing more budget-friendly and less competitive decks, as you could tell, I'm sure. And unfortunately my Misform Ultimus deck seemed to struggle as I wasn't able to draw enough counter spells to stop all the board wipes. This set me back pretty heavily as I lost a lot of my lords and Misform suddenly cost a lot of mana. Kevin also struggled heavily with his Apatra deck as she didn't have a huge impact and he was also very far behind in lands. On the other side of the spectrum, Sam's Alesha deck really seemed to keep going and going and going. It took a lot to take him down, and he was able to recur pretty much his entire graveyard after an attack or two. In the same vein, Antoine was an unstoppable force almost from the get-go, even though he had a few misplays like casting the Deep Close Skate early on with no benefit. I did like the fact that the deck was built more around creature synergy and less around super friends, so that was fun to see. Please be sure to tune in every Monday and Thursday at 11am Eastern Standard Time for a guaranteed new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at MTGMudsta. 
You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mtgmudsta. And lastly, you can check me out when I stream at twitch.tv slash mtgmudsta. This video is brought to you in support by my patrons. If you're looking for a way to help out the channel, please be sure to visit the link below. Thank you all for watching this video, and don't forget, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.